Dwarf Lab, the makers of the little uh, smart telescope, the Dwarf 2, has just sent me their replacement ultra high contrast filter for the telescope, which I have here in my hands. Uh, the reason they sent me a replacement is that the original filter that I had was defective. It didn't pass one of the main wavelengths or one of the main colors that is super important for astrophotography, which is H alpha. Uh, this one absolutely does. I just received it. I checked it with my spectrophotometer and this time the spectrum of the filter is perfect. And honestly, this gives me a really good impression of Dwarf Lab. Like they had this issue with uh, very publicly a defective filter being reported and they immediately took action on this. They provided ways to check the filter. And by the way, one of the ways was to just image M42, but there is another way, which is to simply look through the filter. If you see the filter as greenish, then it is a good filter. If it's absolutely pure blue, it is a defective filter. Up to now, they have recalled 671 filters, amongst which 28 were found to be de defective, so a failure rate of 4.2%. Unfortunately, on their side, the filters are not tagged with like serial numbers or anything, so it's very difficult to identify the defective filters without the users checking by themselves. But fortunately, as I was just uh, showing, there is a very easy way to check that, which is to look through the filter preferably outside against like a white wall like uh, this one. Just look through it and if it's greenish, it's good. If it's completely blue, it's not good and you can return it to Dwarf Lab. So if you are a user, you have an issue with the uh, filter, I've been told by Dwarf Lab there is a simple way to do uh, to do the return. Apparently you'll want to take a picture uh, through the filter to show the color. You'll want to send it to some email address. I'll put it down in the description uh, below and uh, then they will arrange for your filter to be replaced free of charge. And I am told that for any filters that haven't been shipped, shipped yet, they will be checked and tested before shipping to make sure that going forward no defective filters are sent at all which is uh, good overall I think this is you know the right way to do customer support and really it is the right way uh, to address uh, an issue with the product not even the main product which is still this telescope and which is I, I really like this little thing uh, but with like an accessory to the product really good reaction from, from Dwarf Lab they really um, you know stepped up to the uh, to the situation to fix it for any affected uh, people uh, plus they provided an easy way to identify the uh, in the uh, defective filters and hopefully to return them and to get replacement for free so kudos for that uh, let me know down in the comments if you have had any issues with your UHC filter provided by uh, Dwarf Lab or if you've had to, re uh, to return it or if it's working perfectly well for you um, otherwise you know just remember this is a 1.25 inch filter which is a very standard uh, astrophotography and astronomy format of filter so there are other filters for light pollution that you can buy for the uh, dwarf lab i haven't tested other filters yet but really uh, <laughs> the world and the sky and the stars and the heavens are the limits uh, there and there for very light polluted areas like here in tokyo there are even better filters than this one but i'm planning on testing this kind of uh, uh, different filters against the UHC uh, probably in further videos so uh, if you don't want to miss that feel free to go down below subscribe and and like the video it really ch helps the channel out uh, as always thank you so much for watching don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars and I'll see you next time